we're in Dublin University, also known as Trinity, um, and this is my club. And so it's great to come back and see the boys because they're all students, so they've got a semi-final on Saturday, but also they're in the middle of exam season. Yeah. You guys are got a semi-final this week. How are you feeling about that? Yeah, can't wait for it. Um, it's been an unbelievable season. Are you more nervous about coming back from injury or your exams tomorrow? Um, honestly, <laughs> the finals. <laughs> Trinity special for a couple of reasons. The one thing that stood out was was Tony, um, very welcoming. I was coming from outside the city, and uh, he welcomed me in. For years, he was our one beacon of talent. He was just a, a special player. I remember he turned up in white boots. In those days, not a lot of people wore white boots, so I thought, got to be good. He probably was, yeah. Oh, I like the white boots. Tony, it's good to see the white boots are still catching on. <laughs> Here in Trinity, they're quite aware of all the pressures on students. Getting to your lectures, getting the time, being really efficient, which obviously had a knock-on effect then when I went pro in terms of being able to lay out the week and get what I needed to get done to be able to perform. Oh. Now, if you go into the clubhouse, there's about four or five jerseys up on the, on the uh, clubhouse wall, and they're all Jamie's. It's important to let players know where the journey can take them and let them know where hard work can take them. Not an ego thing or anything like that, but just give it back in whatever shape or form. I've tried coaching before, and, and coaching isn't for me, you know, but I'll try and get back to the club wherever possible. 